Hi guys, welcome to my very first video on the Zackle Maker channel. Um, this video is going to be about how to most efficiently spend your gems in a cool game called Idle Monsters Tower Defense. Now, in this video I will be saying a lot of information that I have practically stolen from off of Reddit and like all of this is from some very smart people over on Reddit so one of them is called Xboost and the other one is Animage they help a lot out a lot on Reddit and Discord so yeah Shout out to them. Right, let's get into it then. So starting off, you're going to want this. Two times game speed, it can be found like right here. It costs 500 gems and is pretty costly. And 500 gems is quite a lot for the early game. But it's very, very worth it. Like super duper worth it. And that's it for that one. And then next you'd want to unlock each and every single one of these research tiers. They are all maxed out for me. So I have, or well, not all maxed out, but like I've got every one of them. And, um, yeah, because these, again, very useful, probably a good idea. Um, following this list but yep it's extremely helpful for everything really there's all sorts around here next you're going to want to unlock all of the tournament tiers see myself I'm not actually going to go for all of them I'm just going up to the third tier one because I don't find anything down here what I'm actually looking for right now I'm gonna just go full on this game speed until I max it then there's a few other things up here I'd quite like as well so you don't have to or this one's one of the more chill ones of the list like because these are a lot these um the exotic monsters so you don't have to buy them instantly but you can if you want to but it does take a while when you're at this stage to get all these points next we have in the shop here two to four levels of this damage boost which I'm gonna buy right now actually and so this is very useful because obviously damage is just always useful in general but yeah this one's just very useful then after this we go to this artifacts place right here then you're gonna want to randomly re-roll all of your artifacts after wave 750 it's pointless if you don't do it um, after 7.50 because it's quite hard to progress in this stage and you want all the max out of these because there's some pretty good ones like game speed and tech ship scrolls or tech scrolls plus something then this one's optional but resource pack 4 this is mainly used for the tech scrolls and that's that, yeah, the tech scrolls, so that's, that's it really, but the other things are just a bonus. Then, next, is like the exotic skills. You find these exotic monsters from the tech tree and down here, but you're going to want to prioritise this one called Nimbus, because of its gold aura and XP aura, which are both really overpowered, and so it's a critical ch chance, actually. But, then, Squiddler who's also very overpowered, you're going to want to do Nimbus, then Squiddler, then 
do the other other ones. Then the rest can be done in any order. This one's just kind of a quick one that's been put up. I'm gonna wanna go here. Game speed five percent permanent one. Then go drop percentage, which is right. Where is it? Right here. Then kill XP percentage. Then the max alchemy attributes plus twenty five. That's a pretty useful one. Then auto cast um, amount. Then the auto cast timer. But these are some things after you've done all those. Just do not spend your gems on them at all. Number one is the cargo carrier HP. Don't do it. 75, that's so expensive. And then plus one XP and plus one gold drop. Like 75, dude, really? Oh, wait. 75 and 50? Bro, that's so expensive. I swear that's too much. In this one, I don't know why it's even in the game. I just hate it so badly. Three times for 50. Just, just don't do it, okay? That's, yeah, and that's all for this video. So, thank you very much for watching.